イバーイ<笑> Hello everyone! How are we doing today? Hello, I, I one day I will start my stream and I'll have my tablet at the right angle to talk to you guys. But yes, hello everyone! How's it going? How's it going? <laughs> yes, username! You were right, that was root 225. So that was, let me pray if it was set up correct. No, if it's not set up correctly, of course it's not set up correctly. Who am I kidding? Of course it's not. No, okay. Mm. That's what I get for being on this laptop and not actually looking to see if things are set up correctly. <laughs> uh, but yes, that was um, Glitch Cities um, Route 225 Diamond and Pearl Remix. I'm sure there's a link on YouTube, but I can grab a Spotify link right now because I'm listening on Spotify right now. Poppy song link. There's probably going to be, a, there's probably a YouTube link, but there, there's the Spotify link. There you go. Hopefully that works. <laughs> Hopefully that works. <laughs> Nothing works lately. Nothing works. Luna, I miss you. <laughs> Hello. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to drag chat straight up onto my laptop screen. So we can just kind of like, like this, you know. But yes, everyone, how is it going? How is it going? Yeah, so Gen 4 remakes. Um, so I was actually in a call with Moloch and Luna as the Pokemon Direct was happening and I was, I was, I was crying the whole time. <laughs> just, it, it's terrible. It's, it's terrible. I was crying. But I, I, I really was just crying the whole time. Like, it's just, it's not, that's probably not okay. But I've, I've been so hyped for Gen 4 remakes. I really have been for so long now. Like, it's just, oh. So excited. Wait, you know what? Because I don't know if we're going to be chatting for a while or not, let me just. Let me throw up a theme. You know what? Uh, let's see. I shouldn't put on the Valhalla soundtrack again, but nothing is going to stop me. Uh. Okay, imagine if I typed it incorrectly. Here we go. Here we go. Okay guys, how is how is the music? You guys know it's my favourite. You guys you guys know what we do around here when we're just chatting. How is the volume? <laughs> yeah, the Pokemon Legends looks really cool. That actually honestly it, it does look really cool. I'm I'm really excited to see what what else they do with that. Honestly, I'm I'm really excited. Okay. Oh, it's like I did kind of expect Gen Four remakes, but it's like I've been so hopeful for so long now that it's kind of like I would have been fine if they weren't announced, kind of because it's like well. I've been waiting for them for so long and it's like, well, it's, it'll either happen or it won't happen. When it happens, it will happen. Kind of thing. Chris, enjoy the lurk. Hi there. <laughs> oh, so yeah, it's just, I, I just can't believe it's actually happening. I have a hair stuck on my face. Two onesies. Two Why would I stop you from buying two onesies? What do they look like? Which ones are they? Please tell me one of them is the Evangelion one you were looking at. Please help me. Oh, a bit too light. Okay, let me turn that down. Keep me updated. One day I'll learn how to do audio stuff. And yeah, Luna was dying in the, over the direct as well. It's just, oh, just us two. It was, it, oh, it was, it was great. It was great. But yeah, I've, I've really wanted to for so long now. I, I just can't believe it. It, it just doesn't feel real. It doesn't feel real. I can't believe it. <laughs> so what's cool about them being described as faithful is that we know absolutely no change at all and just graphics and battle systems. I mean, maybe, but it's like... I do quite like the direction they've taken in terms of art style and things with it because honestly, it, it is very faithful to the original games and I love that. I mean, I can't really compare 
the like how faithful like the other remakes have been to the other games because I haven't played those earlier games. But obviously, like you know, like for all of them, like you know, there was a pretty big upgrade simply because like you know graphical limitations and all that kind of stuff. But honestly, like this, I, oh, I, I, I'm just excited. I don't care what they give us at this point. I just want my babies. My babies. <laughs> Oh, so excited. Mullock, you have to show me which one's these. You have to show me. <laughs> gentle remakes just end up being gentle, but they remove the battle frontier. Honestly, I'm so excited. That's all I'm going to be saying this whole stream. All I really want back are the Pokemon contests. Like, I've been saying this for years, but you know how everyone kind of has like an ideal, like an ideal Pokemon spin-off game that they would just absolutely die for? Mine would be entirely based off the whole Pokemon contest system. That is what my dream Pokemon spin-off game is. That <laughs> yeah, Mom, just like, you guys really like Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> oh. is so sweet. I, okay, so you guys know that like, you know, I went back to university for a bit and then I came back home because of the whole pandemic situation. Um, but basically, I have a Bidoof plush. I love Bidoof, like, you Bidoof baby. And because I thought, you know, I'll only be going back home for like a month, maybe two, maybe even three at the most, I left my Bidoof plush at uni and I spend every day living in regret. <laughs> Same goes for a few other things I left there. But it's just... Oh. <laughs> Honestly, I love Pokemon contests. Seriously, I would sell my soul for an entire spin-off game based on them. 110%. Gen 14 is just gonna be six Bidoofs? No, but if I do have a Bidoof, they are never evolving. That is it, okay? <laughs> Honestly, I, I do miss like a lot of like the side mini game kind of stuff that they used to have in some of the games. But I don't know. I'm 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 gonna be excited. I'm gonna be very excited. Every single little announcement we get, I'm gonna be excited. Like 99% chance. <laughs> and it was level 100 bit of yes. Actually, if I do stream the game, maybe we could do something like that. I don't know if I'll stream the game or not yet. Um, Cause obviously I, ne I didn't get around to streaming the sword DLC <laughs> I've been trying to for months now. But, you yeah. know. I just love Bidoo. I just love Bidoo. I will be- I'm hoping- okay. The thing about- I've left stuff at university. They know I've left stuff there. I at some point will need to go collect stuff. But the question is when I will be allowed. Because... Pandemic. <laughs> so yeah, it's just like... I, I, I should be able to. I really hope able to. Because there was a frog plushie that I left there that I loved to pieces. There was one of my figurines. That was a good few bits and pieces. And maybe some poop that's gone bad in the fridge. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, you know, I'm hoping I'm hoping someone I'll be allowed to go back and get that stuff. Because I really miss it. I really miss it. Ah, oh, but speaking of Pokemon plushies, you guys know, you guys know that like, um, I found really, really good. Yeah. Okay, um, if I just kind
the mess. Ignore it, my room's a mess. <laughs> oh, why did that come? What, you need my trolley? It used to be over in that corner before my room got all yucky. And so now it lives kind of behind my wardrobe where you guys can't see it on stream. And I wish you guys could see it more often because it's kind of cute, but you can't because it's hidden behind my wardrobe 99% of the time now. I'll tidy it up later. That's what I've been saying all week. Tidy it up later. Come out of a wall? No. It just came from behind my wardrobe because there's a gap between where my wardrobe ends and where that wall with the fake fireplace begins. Yes, Valhalla music. Yes. Staple of my Just Chatting Cruise. Absolute staple. Plushies are adorable. Oh, okay. Let me look. Let me look. Oh, okay, I love them both. I can't stop you. I love them both. <laughs> if they aren't too expensive, go for it, because I can't. I like them. I like them. A teenager, I remember. Honestly, you should have seen it before I side stream. Part of the reason I am so late going live tonight is because... My room was a mess. <laughs> it's like I was running a little bit late. And then I did my makeup. And I was still running kind of late. But then I started tidying my room. And then I was running really late. And then I loaded up the game to see if the game would be possible, maybe. And then the game started taking forever to like update. And still a bit too early. Okay, I'll turn it down. There you go. I think I my ears as well, actually, because... There we go. Keep me updated! Um, what was I saying? What was I saying? I can't remember what I was saying. What was I saying? Uh... Yeah, why I was late. And... Yeah, so the game took forever to update. And... Then I wasn't sure if I should still go alive or not because I'm like, well, I'm already running a trillion years late. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically, right? <laughs> basically, it's like I loaded up the game. I loaded up the game. And it's like, it did finish updating in the end. And it's like, hey, here's your pass, your armor pass or something for the Isle of Armor. And then like, here's your crown pass, like crown tundra and stuff. And I was like, oh. I really need to play this game more. <laughs> but we will we will maybe get around streaming the DLC, especially now that like we got the Pokemon hype train going, you know? Maybe we will. Uh yeah, I think I think it might have just been on your end, Pico, because I said it was all fine on my end. So Ooh, maybe at some point, Pika. Definitely at some point. We can sort that out on Discord at some point, okay? Okay, let me close that. Yes, definitely at some point. Didn't even go earlier today. What, you mean like up, like update the game? No. I gotta be honest. I have to be honest. No. <laughs> Honestly, I am, I'm so disorganized lately. I didn't even think that the game would want updating because of the DLC or anything like that. Just completely left my mind entirely. <sighs> hey, Canon, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. How you doing? Oh, what if we did like a Discord stream for that or something, and I can mess around like in Pokemon as like a little bit of like a warm up, like going back into it. And then you can give me the shiny sense, maybe? Maybe? <laughs> oh no, Aww. Aww. Do 
so yeah, so for those of you who saw the Pokemon Direct today, out of the three games that were like the main showcases, what are you most excited for? Out of those three, what are you most hyped for? This is why I like the cool song that I'm Oh, I haven't even got display capture set properly, but it, it's called Drive Me Wild. It, it's on the Valhalla soundtrack. That's it. it, it, it. <laughs> it's because I haven't got it on shuffle at the moment. It's because I don't have it on shuffle. <laughs> so let me see if I can fix the display capture real quick. I might not be able to because it looked like it was having the same issue as it used to on my old laptop. But if I make a new source, it might be okay. Um. Come on. No, okay, it's not gonna. Okay. What if we do it like this? Actually, I can imagine that still might not, unless maybe. Aha. Okay, so this is this is like really scuffed, okay? This is really scuffed. But yeah, you guys can kind of see here. It 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 Yeah. <laughs> scuffed stream. We'd love to see it. We'd love to see it. <laughs> Legends, yeah, it looks so cool. Closely follow when you get snap away in the back. Oh, uh, that's yeah, no, that's that's fair. I think I think I can agree with that, honestly, Luna. I think it's probably similar for me. Legend one. Yeah, I'm 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 really excited to see what else they kind of mention and like give us updates on in terms of like legends, because obviously that's the one that's gonna be released 2022. 2022. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> oh. But yeah, that's gonna be I, I, I'm looking forward to seeing what else the game has in store for us because I think from a first glance it did seem, oh, you know, very hype worthy and everything like that. But I am kind, I, I, I am excited to see what else it might bring to the table because we did only have a very basic overview of the game, and even then it wasn't even really like an overview. It was just, it was just almost like a, I mean, I guess like you know it was a trailer, but it like. You know, like a teaser at best, I guess. At this point, if anyone just plays a track from Valhalla and asks me to sing it, Reese is the first thing that will come to mind. Honestly, though, like this is the soundtrack I always throw on for the Just Chatting streams, and 110% you guys should listen to it. And you should play the game. It's a good game. It's a good game. But I need to finish. <laughs> oh, dear. Dear. <sighs> First spin off game that's actually being developed by Game Freak, not outsourced. Um, I don't actually know about that. I'm. Mm, I would look into that. But. Yeah. <laughs> I don't actually know. It's interesting to see that they've outsourced the remake, though. I don't. Because I don't think they. I don't think they outsource the other ones. But that's interesting, I think. Mm. Legends trees look bad, <laughs> yeah. Like one tree model. Yeah, but. I mean. I, I know people are saying about Sword and Shield and like, oh, you know, like they could update it before it comes out. But I mean, they very much could update it this time before it comes out. You know, like it's, it's possible. You never know. You never know. Because I mean, you know, the game's still, the game's still got plenty of time, you know? Yeah, Legends is going to be interesting. Um, did you guys ever play Pokemon Conquest? I know that was like a crossover, like a crossover spin-off kind of thing, but it was so good. It was so cool. Huh. <sighs> Pokemon lore is so confusing, like I would say it's more confusing than the Zelda timeline. Um, watched a YouTube video or something at some point of someone trying to figure out something to do with that. Um, but I mean, was it 
it a game theory? It might have been a game theory video at some point. But it was like the only kind of like definable timeline-esque items were like the Nintendo consoles that the character that the main character that you play as has in their rooms. Like, you know, Nintendo Switch, Nintendo Wii, etc. etc. I think that was I think that was the kind of like the only like providing well yeah because we know that game freak exists within the pokemon universe so as long as like that timeline is kind of like our timeline then... i don't know i don't know it's an interesting thought to think about pokemon lore though especially with like all those evil gangs in each of the regions interesting interesting to evolve your cub through oh nice Pika. nice <laughs> a fan of sword and shields art system of under complaints yeah so it's like I didn't, I didn't like hate it or anything in that first. I like did really struggle to understand the complaints, but then it's like, having kind of like reflected on the game since finishing like the main game, it's like part of me does wonder if there's maybe like small things they could have maybe pushed a little further with it. But I'm, I, I definitely don't hate Sword and Shields, Sword and Shield and its art style at all. It, it like, it, I mean, it, it's, it's, I'm having a hard time explaining this. Like, I don't hate it, but I, I, I do wonder if maybe certain things could have been pushed a little better, maybe. But. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, Rose. Like, I, I love the direction that they were taking with Sword and Shield. Like, I think it's 110% the right kind of, at least in terms of, like, the character art style and, like, things like that like I do think in terms of all of that kind of stuff I do feel like it was a very good step in the right direction for Pokemon really so yeah no <laughs> yeah so that's the thing using Mega Evolution and things like um, Dynamax and all of that kind of stuff it's like the one thing that's never really made sense to me is kind of like how that only happens in the certain region. Like obviously it makes sense in terms of like our world and how games are developed and things, but it's like within the Pokemon world, like, like yeah, I just don't really, like why are there only certain regions that have these concepts? I did have a theory at one point about it actually. Um, I can't remember what it was, but I did actually have a theory about it at one point and something to do with like what each of the um, professors were researching. I, I can't quite remember what it was, but I did I did have a theory at some point. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you. Hey, eat the bunnies, how's it going? Hi Jim. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? How are you doing? Only it's two times more than they ever come on without. Is that true? I, I honestly, like, in terms of, like, the grand scheme of the Pokemon timeline and lore and stuff, I'm not entirely sure of how it all kind of fits together. I just saw my camera do a weird thing. I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> oh, I've watched too many scary games. I'm like, mm, I don't like that. <laughs> oh, anyway. Oh. Uh, yeah, Dynamax was a little bit odd, but I did like the concept of Mega Evolution. I, I did think that was cool. I did think that was cool. Yeah, I didn't really understand the whole Z-Move thing. I, I gotta admit, I was never really... But then again, I didn't really play those games as much, so... You know. Previous gens reused a lot of player models and sprites from season. I don't remember that many reused MC models throughout the game. So I don't know. Um, no, they definitely they definitely did have kind of like NPC archetypes that were reused. I can't remember many of them off the top of my head because it's been a while since I played the game. But definitely, they, they, they definitely had them. They definitely had them. I saw someone say something about Z-Moves being TikTok dance and I can't look for the same way again. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it wasn't... Your 
parents are just like a weird thing or something, don't they? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure, Pika. Maybe someone in chat can help you with that. Maybe someone in chat can help you. Oh, guys. You guys should someone try to guess my my Pokemon team for Sword and Shield. Because I don't know if you guys know, because that was that like me playing Sword and Shield, that was all before we got we got talking. Like, yeah, we got talking a little bit because this was like me talking like Libby's chat about it and stuff, but you guys you guys should have a guess what Pokemon on my Pokemon team for Sword and Shield currently. I think that would be fun. I think that would be fun. I wanna know what you guys think I would have. Hmm. <laughs> huh. I mean, Hamburger, you're technically right. Username, spot on. I just scraped my knee on my desk. Ow. I just like lifted my leg up to like rest my foot on um, like a shelf that's like part of my desk. I just absolutely scraped my knee on the desk. Ugh, absolutely hurts. Hey, let me just, let me just, let me just, because I can't actually remember what's in my head, what's in my team. Oh, I just shook everything. Okay. Okay. Double? Nope. Nope. I don't like double. I like Wooloo, but I don't like Double. <laughs> oh. Eevee on my team? Nope. Not this time round. Eevee is on my team in this game. But not this game. God, I'm just wrecking my shelf at this point. <laughs> oh, you can tell I'm feeling a little chaotic because I just like get everything out on stream. <laughs> it's not good. It's not good. <laughs> oh. I'm wondering. I wonder if there's any other Pokemon on my team that might surprise you guys. I did kind of have a thing where I wanted to create an entire like ghost type pokemon team like ghost type fairy type dragon type and like dark type kind of just you know those kind of like vibes but that didn't happen <laughs> well it's like obviously like, you know to get through the main game you want to have like a diverse team but it was like after that i was i was gonna like you know just have a have like an aesthetic team you know you know you know but yeah, I wanted like all like ghost Pokemon and everything. I really like ghost Pokemon. Like I don't, I don't know if that's actually surprising or not. But I love ghost Pokemon and like the whole kind of aesthetic they have. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Love it. Mimi Q. Oh, you guys, I close. Mimi Q. Mimi Q. Oh, I got my little baby. Yes, there is a Mimikyu on my team. It's a Japanese Mimikyu, actually, I believe. I know it's got a Japanese name. So I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I got it in a. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, this isn't set up properly because this is what I use for the scuff. Let me give me, give me a second. I can fix it. I can fix it. Wow. Look at my Mimikyu! My little baby! My little baby! <laughs> yes! Ghost Pokemon are amazing! Look at my little baby! <laughs> but yeah, I got this I got this Mimikyu. Obviously it's a Japanese Mimikyu. I, I can't remember all the trains. So there's like Wonder Train in this game, isn't there? Something like that, yeah. But I like I I really like collecting like foreign Pokemon in Pokemon games. I I, I don't know why. But there's just something special. Like if I get a Pokemon in a Wonder Trade and it turns out they're like a Spanish Pokemon or a Japanese Pokemon, I'm like, wow, I'm keeping you. And I just I don't know look after them and cherish them, you know? You know? Um I'm not gonna put Mimiki back up there for now. Before he stood up too many times this stream. <laughs> Um, no Sylveon on this team, but I love Sylveon. Sylveon's great, but no Sylveon on my team at the moment. 
asking Ruth's chat for any ideas on what games to attempt to speedrun that are under two hours. Um, I know people who like speedrunning that, um, I got, what's it called? The one Lunar and Swedish and Chris play. What's its name? It's left my head. It's probably not your kind of game hamburger, but it's, it's, it seems like you're speedrunning. Yes, but Moloch, what's the whole name? Yes! Yes! Yes, 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 that one. That one. It's probably not Hamburger's kind of game, but I'm really into it at the moment. Like, seeing, like, the others speedrun it. Ah, this is cool. This is cool. And people seem to get really short times, and I have no clue how they do it. Like, absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. <sighs> Imagine if I could speed run a game. Imagine if I could have, if, if I was like half as skilled enough to do that, you know? Just imagine. Imagine that. Couldn't be me. Anime. Oh, this is a little, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> you asked for speedrun suggestions. I gave you one. <laughs> So if I had time speed, I'd, yeah, I am. <laughs> Imagine if I actually had, if I could actually run the hat in time right now. Like literally, just just even load up the game. I can't. I haven't actually tested the new laptop yet, but I'm worried I'm downloading too much stuff on it already. Honestly, just because I'm paranoid. I know it was <laughs> I just you asked for speed running suggestions and I gave you one. So good times to speed and just have fun and go your own face. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. I just feel like I'm not technically and mechanically skilled enough to speed run games. <laughs> I mean you guys have seen how I play games. <gasps> Hamburger, you should speed run jump king! Speedrun Jump King! Speedrun Jump King! You should do that, do that, do that, do that, do that, do that. <laughs> hey, Ash, how's it going? Hiya! Hiya! How's it going? <laughs> the ES Burger Speedrun Jump King. Do it. Do it, do it, do it. Do it. <sighs> How's it going? Nice! How was school, Ash? How was school? Let me. Burger, you should get it. It's, it's like, it's it's like a tenner or something, and and you should, because it's worth it and it will be a good speed run. Well, let me see, Jump King. The the record for speed running Jump King. Four minutes thirty four seconds. <laughs> the game I streamed for twelve hours has a world record speed run of 4 minutes 34 seconds. I think you could do that, Burger. <laughs> I think you could do it. <laughs> jump King speed run, but Ruth has to actually jump with every in-game jump. God, no, that'd be horrible. That would be terrible. That would be... You know, that, that would... That would be tier worst. That might get questionable if I were to stream that ever. Art paint. Oh, nice ash. Oh, I'm sure it's not bad. I'm sure it's not that bad. She should send it to me. <laughs> oh. Yeah, honestly, like how people get that kind of time on Jump King, I don't know, like I, in my head, I had like the world record as like 10 minutes or something, but no, apparently the world record is less than five minutes. I streamed the game for more than 12 hours. How many games have I got in the game? How many hours have I got in the game on Steam? Let me look. Uh, yeah, Jump King, 18.2 hours. And the world record is four and a half minutes. Four and a half minutes! What the heck? Crazy. No, Ash, I'm sure I'm sure it's not a 
that bad. I mean, you don't have to show me if you don't want to, but I'm, I'm sure it's not that bad. Everyone has to start somewhere with painting. I haven't painted in years, so if I ever go back to painting, it's not gonna be good. It's not gonna be good. <laughs> oh. I believe I'm from Attack of the- Oh, nice! I, oh. I, I, used, I used to like him a lot. I used to actually have a Levi cosplay when I was like 13. We don't talk about it. We don't talk about it. <laughs> oh, she looks Ash. No worries. <laughs> Ash! <laughs> <laughs> don't say those things while I'm drinking! <laughs> Also, guys, 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 can we just take a moment to appreciate, yeah, this one, this one. Look, we are closer to the Pogroof sub goal than we have ever been. This, like, this is, this is closer to having the Pogroof on my Twitch than we have ever been. And that's kind of cool. Well, I see, I see closer than we've ever been. I might have, there might have been a couple more, like, back in like April but no. But like in, in terms of actually possibly having the slot, like look, we're getting closer, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. <laughs> Anime boys. <laughs> I mean, you know, we, we we all know that the fictional world full of the fictional people is sometimes a lot more desirable. <laughs> Everyone have a sip. Oh, there we go. Oh, Pika, don't, 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 no. It's okay, because that's a lot. It's a lot still. We're closer than we've ever been, but it's still a lot. <laughs> oh. Yeah, honestly, like, don't. It's okay. <laughs> we'll get there when we get there. Have you seen fictional characters? I mean, the real world just can't. The real world just can't compete. You know, you know. <laughs> exactly, exactly. That's how it works. That's how it works. Like I think, I think like people in real life would have a lot better luck with dating and things if we all just started dressing like video game characters and carrying around giant sides and swords and things you know i just i just feel like things might work out better for some of us if that were the case <laughs> um it depends rose i i may want to know what you're doing right now <laughs> but it, it depends what you might be doing right now <laughs> oh, was it ugly change your mind Oh yeah, no, Malik, like, how's that sword? That's the that's the best response. That's the best response. That's it. That's it. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Mining an entire 32 by 32 square in Minecraft. All the way down to seven. Oh wow. Oh wow, Rose. Good luck with that. Oh, good luck with that. You guys know I'm an absolute Minecraft noob. I have considered playing it on stream someone. But you guys know I accidentally break doors left, right, and centre. So, <laughs> yeah, no, no. no matter what, stay <laughs> go ahead. Honestly, burger. By being anti-anime, you do miss out on some great things. You really do. <laughs> I might as well show you guys the rest of my Pokemon team while we're here. Oh, my face is in the way. Let me just. Um, bump. And then... Ooh, okay, you know what? We're just gonna, gonna vibe up here. We're just gonna vibe up here. But... You yeah. felt when? When I actually talk to Libby about making that happen, if that's happening on her server, or if I'm just kind of like doing it, you know? When we just talk. <laughs> this is just so fine. Honestly. 
anime. So yes. But yes, here's my team. Here's my team. Yes, I have a Rotom, I have a Quagsire. <laughs> yeah, so basically I caught the Quagsire as a Wooper. And Hannah was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. And so I like named I named the Wooper after Hannah. But then the Wooper evolved into Quagsire. <laughs> yes, yeah, Daramaka level 69. And Quagsire level 69. Nice. <laughs> Yes, don't worry, Mark. I will tell Corviknight that she's a baby and that you love her. <laughs> and look at the little babies. They're such little babies. They're such little babies. And I... I so... I had to... I, I, I really wanted to keep it as a Darumaka rather than a... Darmanitan because basically I have a very special attachment to Darumaka simply based on the fact that when I was playing Pokemon Black for the very first time I went into like the whatever route it is that you can get the Darumakas in and I saw one and then they approached me in the wild for a battle whatever like hey I don't know what you are but you're kind of cool I kind of like you kind of like so I caught it it was only how many weeks later I found out that it was a shiny Darumaka, but because it was the very first one I had ever seen, I didn't realize it was shiny. So the fact that I had been able to catch it, like, what's like, like you know, me and, me and Darumaka, we just have a vibe, you know? Like, it, it was meant to be. I had no clue that it was gonna be shiny. And then it was, and I, I had already caught it at that point. Oh, <laughs> uh, I love that. So yeah, so that is why I have decided not to let my Darumaka in Sword and Shield evolve, simply because of the one I had back in Pokemon Black. <laughs> the only reason <laughs> that and Darumaka is absolutely no baby. Oh, no <laughs> uh, so yeah. And then I don't really have much explanation for the others, except Rotom Heat's kind of overpowered. Uh, <laughs> I love my little baby Mimikyu, my little baby. Rillaboom is an absolute unit. You guys know I love my Grookey. You know what, I'm grabbing the Grookey. I'm grabbing the Grookeys. Grabbing the Grookeys. Okay. Grookey! I love the Grookeys. I love the Grookies. I, I, I love the Mimikyu. <laughs> One day I might have my whole team. <laughs> oh, look at my little baby. I love him. 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 Rotom. I can't remember off the top of my head, but there's like a guy somewhere I'm pretty sure who will change it into the different types of Rotom. Um, because there's like a trillion types of Rotom. I say a trillion, that's not true. Uh, yeah, Samuel, Samuel gave this one to me. I haven't got it on screen, I didn't even realise that. But yeah, Samuel might give this one to me after I told him I wanted one. <laughs> so. I did used to have that one set for better for BTTV, but I removed it because I kind of want to add the Ruth IAF. And I don't know if I did or not with the bits. I can't remember if I've updated the bit emotes yet or not. That's the thing. That's the thing. I have mixed feelings about Sobble. I do kind of like Sobble, but I kind of... Yeah, no. I, I think Sobble's okay. I, I'm just not... 
obsessed. It's like you go, you, like, you guys can see the score bunny. There is a sobble in there too, somewhere. I think. I promise there is. <laughs> because I, I had the set of three for a Christmas present, not last, not this year, but the year before. So. Oh no, Pika! You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> People <will> smash. <laughs> Oh, see, Prim. Have a good evening. Have a good evening. Um, I, did I ever update the? I wrote on offensive or defensively built. Um, probably offensive as heck because I don't know how to be defensive. Basically. No, it's like looking at this, looking at this. Oh, it might be a little bit more defensive, maybe. But yeah. That, that's kind of, that's kind of what we're looking at. It's, it's just vibing. I, I don't, I don't build my Pokemon competitively. We, we just vibe. We just vibe. Like, literally, I... I don't- I can't remember anything about IVs, EVs, my brother knows all this stuff, I don't. I just like to have cute Pokemon that work well for me. I don't- I don't play competitively. I don't. Oh yeah, that was it! I was gonna say about the Ruth Ayaya. Um, I've been considering adding that as a bit emote, if you guys would be interested in that. Um, but... Yeah, it's like I, 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 at one point my brother was trying to teach me the basics of like IVs and EVs. And it's like I do know the basics, but I can't. Like off the top of my head, it's like mm, I can't quite remember. <laughs> oh, but yeah, my Pokemon are babies, and I love them a lot. And I, I like my team. I like my team. What's my league card? I'm, I'm just while I have the game open. Ah, oh, look, guys, I gotta show you my character. I have to show you my character. Oh, I should move. Oh, what the heck am I moving? I'm moving everything. Oh, dear God. Okay, let me just. Ah, uh, we, we, we go somewhere over there. But look at my character. She's just vibing. <laughs> <sighs> um, um, Burger, let's not phrase it like that, please. Let's not phrase it like that, shall we? <laughs> oh no, Pika! Oh, Yeah, it's like... I... I... Okay. Because with the, with the DLC, they were adding new clothes in this game. So, I need to know, is there a particular shop I have to go to to buy said clothes? Because I like clothes shopping. In game and in real life. Uh... Oh no, Pika. Well, we wish you the best of luck. Best of luck. Best of luck. I might as well show you guys my character in game because look at how cute she is. I love her. I love her. I also love this bag. It's cute. We cute. Oh, thank you, Pika. Thank you. Wow. So yeah, so it's like I don't actually know with like the new clothes that came with like the DLC stuff. Like, do I have to go to like, a particular city shop to be able to get them? Because I don't know. Oh, um, what's its name? One of the regions, one, no, not one of the regions, one of the towns in this game, you can fight me because it has the best clothing shop in the entire game. And I will fight people off that. I will, I will fight people over that. Uh, I, I honestly like I, I said this before about Sword and Shield, but I I do have a very soft spot for this game because well I mean I 
obviously like they've like you know we all know each pokemon game is based off of like a different actual real life place and the fact that um sword and shield are based off of like england and uk or whatever I, I i i really think they did a good job at capturing that and I think Backpacker Ruth was in this game. I think I have screenshots. There's a there's a Ruth, a Samuel, and a Hannah in this game, I think. And I thought that was really funny. Because obviously that's mine and my siblings' names. I'm pretty sure I have a screenshot. If I don't, I know someone here does. I know someone has a screenshot. Let me just... There's gonna be one somewhere here scrolling past the trillion and one animal crossing screenshots thanks I, I really should clear out my album at some point i really should um nah, bah, bah. okay that was back in march keep scrolling keep scrolling keep scrolling oh god that's a lot of oh, fire has on three houses <laughs> hi there i i like the characters in fire emblem um, na -ba -ba. Okay, here we go. Pokemon screenshots. Mm. Oh, I took a lot of these. I took a lot of these. Um, I was trying to like, get some really cool ones. See if I could use any as like a wallpaper on my laptop or something, or on my phone or something. But there's a lot. Ah, oh, yeah. Here we go. Backpacker Ruth. <laughs> Backpacker Ruth. Oh, yeah, no, my webcam's still Let me fix that. Why is... I must have moved it. There we go. Yes, my, my, my overlay and my, everything about my stream is scuffed, okay? Leave me alone. <laughs> Oh, you know, there, there, is, there is a Hannah and a Samuel. I don't think, it, I don't know if Hannah's spelled the same way. But, though, mm. I'm pretty sure I took screenshots of it too. Yeah, so, Samuel's one of the gym trainers. Samuel's one of the gym trainers. Um, oh yeah, and then Hannah's one of the schoolgirls. <laughs> but that, that's all three of us in the game. <laughs> Sounds more sus than people screenshotting Breath of the Wild. Themselves. What do you mean, Bug? What happened? What did I say? What did I do? <laughs> oh. <It was> like <laughs> I mean, I mean to be fair. I mean Samuel, no glasses, and then he does like a little side moment with his hair. But you know, close enough. <laughs> close enough. Oh, the three houses. I'm gonna expose myself here, okay? Um, but yeah, I like. You can see who my favourite characters in the game are. <laughs> I'm just taking pictures of my favourite characters, like, hello there. But, like, look at these two. Look at these two. Sylvain and Mercedes? Oh. I love them. I love them both so much, and it's absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. I'm like, look, you can just see there's more, and I just, hello. Uh, Hi Mercedes, and then hi Sylvain. <laughs> I like them a lot. <laughs> Backpacker roof brows, did they? I didn't actually notice that. Uh, oh my. Obviously, some of these screenshots do have spoilers in. None more than bring up big ones. Oh yeah, she does have freckles! Oh, I love that. I love that. Yeah, Hannah's a schoolgirl and Samuel's a gym trainer. 
Looks like Smash Bros. What do you mean? It's Fire Emblem! There is a Smash screen. There is like a Smash screenshot or two in here. Not like intentionally. I like, look, it's Viola. I love her. But this, this is. I mean, like this is in-game Viola. And this is Smash Viola with the um, Elder Guard skin. So. <laughs> yeah, have I got anything else interesting in here? Probably not. But I'm just having a nosy just in case. Just in case. Did you what have you clipped? What, what have you clipped, Ash? What have you clipped? Oh, I have to show you guys something. I have to show you guys something. I have to show you guys something. Look at this legend! Look at how majestic and lovely giant Mimikyu. Absolutely giant Mimikyu. And look! Look! <laughs> baby. Absolute baby. Yeah, large. Baby. Mimikyu! Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Internet cafe at things. I'll have, a, I'll have a quick nosy. I'll have a quick nosy. Oh, I don't have the specimen. Okay, you scuffed stream time. Let's sort this out. Yeah, this might not work actually. Um, I really gotta like try to fix things. <laughs> One day I'll try to fix things. One day I'll try to fix things. But guys, go look on Discord for the clip Ash shared. <laughs> Ash making me laugh while I'm drinking. Oh, that's something I like to do. That's something I like to do in our house it's really funny it's like my siblings will just be having a drink and then i'll end up saying something that makes them laugh it's so funny because they just like <laughs> they can't handle it and it's absolutely hilarious oh mimikyu is a baby and i love an absolute baby oh no how did you slip up <laughs> oh no oh but yeah, like I was saying, like I do think, I do think Sword and Shield actually did a really good job of kind of capturing, at the very least, like England. Like I have told, like I've told you guys before, um, like with the chalk on the hill, like from the moment I saw that in the trailer, I was like, wow, they've done their research. Because for those of you who don't know, like, obviously i'm from the southwest of england as we all know and kind of like in the southwest of england we there's there's some places which have like chalk horses on like the side of the hills and it's very much it's very much a thing that like you know it's, a, it's an english thing it happens it's a thing <laughs> so it's like seeing the chalk on the side of the hill in the Pokemon game. I like I was impressed. Like I was so hyped for Sword and Shield from that moment. But it's like even with um some of the other areas, like some of the actual like cities and towns and places. Like I was really impressed. I was really impressed. Like a lot of them, a lot of them I can like not necessarily say exactly what place they're like based on or anything but there's very much places that i know of that remind me of these places in game and i like that i like that they got somewhere else manchester well the thing is i've never been to manchester so i don't really know what it's like in manchester 
But yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it's like, but. <laughs> Oh yeah, 100%. Like, in my head, I've always been like, okay, Wyndon is Windsor and London. There you go. <laughs> That's why I've always kind of had it as in my head. Because, you know, Wyndon, Wyndon, Windsor, London. I completely messed up there, but you guys know what I mean. You guys know what I mean. But it's like, um, I can't remember what the starting town place is called. But oh, I haven't got a screenshot, but I just don't think I do. No, that's just too old. That was when I was doing good things on Mario Maker. Oh, I must have a screenshot somewhere. Yeah, Postwick, Postwick. So when when the game begins, as you leave your house and like walk down the hill past where, where your like friend rival, I can't remember his name. But as you like walk down the hill towards like the train station and all that, like you can just see all of these like rolling hills and all these fields and I'm like, oh, it just reminds me of home and I love it. <laughs> I love it. Ah, oh, see you around hamburger. Thank you for vibing. I hope you have a good evening. <laughs> oh, honestly, I've, I've never been anywhere outside of England and Wales. I've, I've never been anywhere. <laughs> I have no idea how expensive any of this stuff is either though, so. Yeah, hop, that's it. But just like in Postwick, as you like walk down the hill to get to like the train station and stuff past his house, it, it, it just, it just reminds me so much of home. Like, you have no idea, you have no idea, it's, it just, it just really would like I really do think they just captured it well. I, I really do. Like, I know the game had a lot of criticism and stuff, at least like, visually, but I, I do think they did a good job of capturing kind of England. However, I do have to show you this one screenshot I have which I stumbled across before. Um, I don't know if you guys will find it funny or not honestly, or I don't even know why I screenshotted it necessarily. But, ba -ba, where is it? I, I saw it two seconds ago. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Ah, here we go. Oh no, that's not doing the right thing. Let me just. What? Okay, come on, stop going slow. And there you go. Uh, but it's just like the. Hello, hello. <laughs> like, it's so stereotypical. It's just so stereotypical. But yeah, it's just like, just in terms of like the scenery and everything, like, like I just think, I, I think they did a good job. I like it. It, it. it does remind me of England. It does. It does, it does, it does. It does. The rat problem, like, what? Not about that. <laughs> Pokemon <laughs> they got directly. If only. If only. Do that in the most British accent you can. What, like, the British cop? British cop? Like, what? I don't know what I'm saying! I don't know what you guys want me to say. I'm not, I'm, I'm not exactly good at a, at a stereotypically British accent. Like, Obviously, you guys know how I talk and things like that. But and you know, people do say that I I, I do talk kind of posh and stuff. But like, uh, I I don't I like I don't think I could do like a stereotypical 
British accent or like, you know, like a Cockney accent or like whatever, like a stereotypical British accent actually is. Yes, Moloch, I need to do that. There's a whole bunch of settings I need to adjust and I haven't had a chance to. It's terrible. Absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. Okay, but yeah, there's so many settings I need to adjust. I just haven't, because I'm a nightmare for these things. Apparently. Hmm. Okay, so. Okay, so it's quarter past ten. We might leave things there, maybe. We might leave things there, maybe. And Courtney's Life with Little Nightmares 2, so if you guys don't like scary games, this might not be the game for you. But Oh and Zoo's back. Oh we'll have to do that at some point. We'll have to do honestly. We're gonna have to do that at some point. <laughs> um but yeah, so I'm not meant to be live today, but I'll be live tomorrow. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. We might do Pokemon, we might do 3D World. I don't know, we'll find out. We'll find out. It might be a bit of a long stream to make up for the mess that this week has been. But I'll figure something out. I'll figure something out. Something something will be happening. And I hope that you guys will be here too. We're probably gonna go for a bit longer, but it depends on when I wake up. Because I haven't been waking up like before midday. Or if I have been, then I've been going back to sleep until midday. So we'll just, we'll just have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. But yes it, it's 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 been a weird week it's been a good week it's been a weird week but i will see you guys tomorrow i don't know what we're doing we'll figure it out as we did tonight what is midday wait do americans not have midday like noon 12 lunchtime do americans not have mid is that not a thing in america Is, 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 that, is that not a thing? Well, yeah, it is kind of dumb, but it's like, you know, midday. <laughs> I can't. Wow. Okay, noon, 12, lunchtime. That's midday. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll try not to have another breakdown over what Americans don't have. <laughs> and I will see you guys tomorrow. Doing something. I've been repeating that five times now. Let's go. I'll send I'll start the raid, guys. Join join the raid. Get more channel points and then leave if you don't want to see the scary game. But go send go tell Courtney I say hi. Go tell Courtney I say hi. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Pokemon Super Mario 3D World. I don't know. We'll figure it out, and then I will figure out my stream schedule for next week, which we should. We'll be back to normal. I promise. I promise. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. We'll be back to normal next week. I promise. Uh, I promise. Yes, 3D World tomorrow. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Either Pokemon or 3D World. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes unless something else comes up that people want to do. Okay? So, that that's the plan. And then I'm back to normal stream schedule next week. I promise. <laughs> I promise. Okay? She has, she has these. <gasps> really? Oh my gosh. Uh, ash, ash, ash. Go careful. Go careful. <laughs> no. Just sneeze. Courtney's just sneeze. That's it. <laughs> but anyway, 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 I'll send you guys over. I will see you tomorrow. I'll message people on Discord if people are messaging on Discord. And I'll see you guys soon. Go say hi to Courtney for me. Send her my love. Woo! Woo! There goes the ring!